hello friends you are welcome this is off reason this lesson will be uh, modeling this uh, straw car pack just like this so uh, stay tuned and let's start I go to file in the drop down I'll be able to create a new project just like this and I will architectural template so here is a new template the first thing I will do is I will get my grid line one just like this then i may get subsequent grid lines if i should pick this pick line and then i want to have a series of grid line like five okay at distance 4500 just like this so i'll offset them this way just like this just like this okay all right so after which i want to be placing a column here it's going to be an architectural columns okay that i'm going to use for the sake of this lesson so I will navigate and load a column. I'll return from here to the main folder, the UK folder, just like this. And I will navigate to column folders. So I can use any of these columns here, but I want a column that is somehow designed, a structural column that is designed to be architectural. Okay, just like this one. Okay, or this one. So I click on open. So after which you can see the size, the dimension. Of the column click on ok and then i want to insert the column here this place just like that okay so if i should check my levels i check my level you will notice that there uh, i'm having this as the level so i can't pull the column out of this uh, particular level just like this so have it like this okay so after which i'll be drawing a reference plane where i want my trusses to pass okay so i'll pick this line and then I want my trusses to pass this way, okay? So I'll pick this point and give it a name as P1, which is the reference plane one, just like this. After which, the next thing I will be doing is I will want to load a uh, structural framing. So I'll go to insert tab and then click on the load family. In the load family, I'll return to the main folder. I'll scroll down, be able to select a structural uh, framing this one, and then still. I'll go to British Standard. I'll be using this uh, circular hollow section for the top cord, bottom cord, as well as uh, the vertical and the diagonal brazen. Just that uh, I will have to consider the uh, the diameter of uh, the top cord, bottom cord, and the diagonal uh, brazen. So I will first of all select this one to be my uh, diagonal brazen, and then the top and bottom cord. I'll be using this size. Okay, so for me to select both, I have to hold down the control key just like this, click on OK. So I'm loading two of this material into the structural uh, wizard. So I want to be using the trusses now. Click on truss in, under the structural tab. Okay, so they are asking me to pick plane. So I want to pick grid line one as my uh, working plane. Okay, so after which I will have to click on OK. Alright, so there is no truss loaded. So I click on yes to load truss. I'll return to the main folder using this uh, tab. <clears throat> okay just like this i'll scroll down to structural trusses just this one okay i'll pick this click on okay all right so i'll be able to pick this first point and go alongside uh the alongside this uh uh plan plan one and place it there yeah? so this is what i'll be having all right so if i enable this fine i will be seeing this very clearly just like this and if you zoom close it, you notice that this and this front this place and this place are not model so you need to extend this to be well model so what i need now if you also notice the uh the diagonal brazen and the vertical uh cord is the same thing as the top cord so let us uh, change this by selecting this uh model we select this model like this so in this edit type opened in the edit uh type property we will be changing the top code so we'll select the top code to be this 42 of size and then the uh vertical web will be 21 and then the diagonal web will be also 21 so select the 21 then the bottom code we will make it uh with the bottom code we will make it 42 just like this click on apply it and then click on uh okay so if you zoom closely you will notice that this one is now bigger than the, this one which is what we expected to have okay so after which i want to show you how you can adjust this to be model enough by pulling this one 
close to this all right so what you need to do is you just have to hold over the uh all over the, the trusses and then you release your hand so you see uh, it will be all selected so once it is being selected like this what you need to do click this place to unpin it you just unpin it just like that and then after which hold down the tap key then you can be able to select an individual brazen or individual web just like this so once you selected it like this you can now pick at this point extend it so that it can be modeled enough just like that okay so do the same thing for this one okay and then extend it this way all right sorry you do it so you hold down the tab key just like this then hold on this arrow and extend it just like that all right so after which you do this to hold of these braces all right so, okay so the next thing we will be considering here yeah, is uh, we want to shape this truss so it can fit into what we actually wanted so because the length of this truss uh since the height from here to this point is about uh, uh it's about uh, 1.8 meter so we want to reduce it by selecting the truss just like this you can be able to use this edit profile and then you go to the top chord pick this line and then i want to divide this into two okay just like this it's divided into two is about 900 okay after dividing it like this uh after dividing it like this just decide the command be able to pick this to this point extend that to that point and then remove this top uh, existing chord uh, line delete it click on finished okay so you will be having a uh, something of this kind you see it's now becoming smaller and also we want to still go to this edit profile and then this time around the bottom chord we will pick this uh, start end radius arc and then we'll pick this point and then we'll extend to the first point last point and pick it so we'll be having something of this kind all right so after that is being placed at that radius select this uh, existing bottom chord so the existing button cut and then you'll be able to delete it click on finished so you can have this shape that we just got now just like this okay so after having this one uh you can now go to the uh 3d and see what you have done so far so you click on this 3d to have something of this kind okay so this is what we actually wanted so what we need to do is to copy all of this now to the next grid line so we go to the level one just like this as it's been copied like this you just have to uh, use this copy tool and then pick this point take it to this point just like that and then do copy again this time around enable the multiple so you can be able to pick as and drop as many as you want to drop just like that all right so this is the command if you go to the 3d to check you have something of this kind all right so once we have something of this kind you know we will have to now add a plastic uh, a plastic roofing sheet to this okay so for us to do that go to the south elevations and then you go to the uh you go to the architectural tab be able to select the roof in the drop down roof by instruction is what we are going to use you select it then the level level two picked okay so after which you now start to use pick point pick line this one to sketch the uh, roof so by then we want to reduce the uh, thickness of this roof okay click on duplicate and then instead of 400 you can now use 20 mm just like this click on okay edit this one click on this point give it a thickness of 20 mm you can even change the material through this place by clicking this point okay so in the material dialog just have to click and create new material right click just like this give it a name as a, a plastic because we want to use plastic material for that uh, place okay so after which uh, click outside so select the plastic material one again and then navigate to the appearance click this point so it will take you to the asset browser so in the asset browser click on this uh, appearance and then come down look at plastic this one after you look at the plastic we will be using a transparent plastic so click this double click on this and then close this one okay after which you can change this color to blue just like this click on okay all right and then come to graphics use render appearance remove this and then extend the transparency so it is not that much just of this kind click on apply and okay and then okay okay again so now pick line and then start discussion of the roof so i'll pick this point 
I'll pick this form. Now you use two line I picked there. I'll delete one later. Okay. After which I will come to this side and then pick this one. Okay, so I will now have to delete this. Select it and delete it. Okay. Alright, so you join this one together to, with this one and then come to this side, join this together. Okay, select this and be able to move it a little bit away from the uh, vertical web. And then this one, move it a little bit up just like that. And also for this one, you just have to extend it in such a way that it is up to this point. Okay, on the top of the pillar. Or columns just like this so after which just click on finished let's see what happen all right go to the 3d and check it so you'll be having something of this kind so once you are having something like this actually this is what we intended so what you just need to do click on this arrow i'll be able to extend it to cover up to the last uh column and then you can have a little bit uh clouding that way and also a bit clouding this way all right so this is what we are having for now so you can just enable the shaded option to be able to have this as uh, our profile sheet so you can also increase this so that the lines will not necessarily be showing the way they are so you go to the south of elections and then you do you move close and select this and then you can just move this upward a bit just like that okay and then you go back i think this is model enough all right so go to this floor plan and then you can be able to now provide a maybe a floor give it a floor name 150 okay just like this the thickness is 150 okay generic 150 mm so you can just change the material if you wish okay and uh, which of the material you just check for concrete floor okay so we will be considering this uh, concrete mystery unit Alright, and then you can go to the appearance and you can leave everything the way they are. If you wish, you can edit them and then apply it. You'll be able to, you know, use rectangle to have a floor within where you have the canopy just to look uh, somehow good and model enough. Alright, so if you check it in the 3D, you have something of this kind. Alright, so you can now bring in some cars to place in there and now the construction of this is this is actually embedded inside a it's actually embedded inside a, a concrete okay so there will be a kind of a concrete beam that will run from this uh, column to this column and to the rest of the column so as to all these uh, uh trusses okay so by then we'll go back to the floor plant just like this if you want to bring in some vehicles in here you can use place component just like this go to edit and then you'll be able to load some other components return to the main folder just like this i use this and then be able to select this vehicle open it just like this so once it opens you can just be able to use the top key to give it the direction so you can just place like uh, one or two vehicles just like this and then if you go to the 3d i'm able to have something of this kind right so if you also go to the realistic view to have something like this uh and the realistic view okay so this lesson just aim at uh, showing you how to be able to model a trust of this kind okay just like this all right so if you actually render it you will be having something of this kind after rendering but before rendering we'll be adding a text to the front of this okay so we will need to rotate it in such a way that we can be able to uh, see the front just like this and then we will have to then go out of this uh, realistic to shade it like this then we want to use this test this one so before then cancel it and be able to set your work plan all right so we want to pick a work plan just like this to be the front of this to be the front of this uh, roof pick it just like that after which we pick the model test and then be able to type and give it a name as uh, straw 
car park just like this okay click okay so you just bring it closer to this one and place it there just like that all right so after you finished like this if you check it the rendering of it you have it looks like this all right so this is when you render it this is how it's going to look okay i think this is nice enough for presentation and also for fabrications and then uh, installations so this brings us to the end of this lesson if you are new on this channel you do it to subscribe and stay tuned for more advanced lesson as i bring to you more lessons stay safe and bye for now